Growing up, one of the things I often heard my mother say was, Okay, I will remember this. Are you sure that's what you really want? Because someday you're going to wish I didn't remember this. Sometimes it was a threat. Other times it was a warning. But she was always telling us that she would remember this wrong or prank that we had done to her. Why does this matter? As a kid, I would wonder if she was keeping some sort of master list of all my wrongs, only to wait for some dreadful judgment day where she would unleash justice on me. The truth is far from this. To understand this, you have to understand my mom. One of the most important words in this thinly veiled threat was remember. Mom always wanted the family to have memories. And not just any memories, but one's worthy of being described as a Kodak moment mixed with a Norman Rockwell scene. She wants our memories to be overflowing scrapbooks whose pages abound with wonderful pictures together. She may not know this, but she has accomplished her goal. My own mental scrapbook includes gems like a surprise trip to the water park. It could have been just an ordinary trip without any sort of fanfare to surround it, just another drive to the city, but Mom went out of her way to make it an event, an adventure. Blindfolded, my older brother and I could only guess what our destination was for the 45-minute car trip. Mom knew that this would make for grand memories and rich entertainment, as these were the days before iPods and video games provided backseat entertainment for children. Another one of the gems in my mental scrapbook is when my parents made sure that Santa found us at our temporary home. We're in the middle of a move and had to move into the old family farmhouse before our house was built next door. We had to wait for warmer weather to move out, and we had to be out of the house by Christmas, and the deadline was fast approaching with no warmth in sight. We ended up moving on the coldest Christmas Eve in Oklahoma history. I remember Dad with his frost covered beard, bringing in the bare essentials plus the Christmas tree and all its trimmings, and Mom doing everything she could to keep the old farmhouse warm. I don't remember being cold, but I guess Santa found our change of address form because I remember having a blast playing with my new toys on Christmas morning in our new house. There are many more, from an elaborate trip to Disneyland to simple nightly family meals around a dinner table. Why has this attempt to understand this threat led us down a candy-coated trip down memory lane? To understand that, you need to know something else about my mom. She never remembered. Judgment Day never came. I heard this threat many times in my life, and yet I'm still living to tell the tale. Has she really forgotten? Possibly, but that isn't the reason for my pardon. My mom forgives. I have transgressed against her many times, and she still forgives. She forgives all the fires in the kitchen and in the grass. She forgives all the wrecked cars and the speeding tickets. She forgives all the hurtful words and the sleepless nights. This forgiveness has taught me how to forgive. But more importantly, it has taught me how to be forgiven by our Heavenly Father. It has been this forgiveness that has allowed our family to have so many great memories together. Understanding the true nature of forgiveness has taught me not to fear any judgment day, and that's the best thing to remember.